Hello, yes, my dear. I have considered your advances. I think I really need you in my life, Joy. Honestly, my wife has not been giving me enough peace in the house. And yes, I'm home right now. No, she traveled to visit her mom. Yes, come with a few things. You'll be spending the night. Okay, thanks. See you soon. What did she say? She's coming. God, I can't believe this. Just come down and watch. I think I should just stay in the kitchen. That way I will hear everything you guys are saying. Sure. Hi, Joy. Hi, baby. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. I'm glad now you'll be mine. Of course. I hope you give me what I want. I will give you everything, baby. Rita is nothing but a fool. She thought she getting married earlier than me was the perfect thing to do. I know you have been feeding her lies about me. You know Sarah is just a friend, don't you? Of course I do. Then why did you tell her the opposite? I wanted this whole marriage thing with you to end. I should be here and not her. I watched her flaunt with everything you do for her and how you are so good in bed. I always wanted you so badly to myself. Now I've gotten you. Your dreams, Joy. What is going on here? This is what it is. So you have been trying to jeopardize my marriage all this while. It has been you all this while. I trusted you so much. You had the guts to do this to me, Joy. Why won't I? You always flaunt everything he does for you, making me feel like you get everything while I don't. You backstabber. Nat is mine. You would never get him. Now I see why no man wants to have anything to do with you, evil thing. Now, out of my house and never come back. I'm sorry, Rita, please. It was... Just leave now. I was such a fool. I'm sorry, babe. I'm so sorry for everything. Shh. It's okay, babe. I'm glad you now realize. Hi, sis. Babe, what's up? You're late. Sorry, dear. There was massive hold up on the road. Where is the ice cream I told you to buy on your way here? Oh, I forgot. What did you say? You forgot what? I forgot the ice cream now. You better go back and buy it. Something I told you before you left the house. I would have given you money now. I just said there was a massive hold up on the road. And so? If you are craving for ice cream, then go out and buy it. Don't disturb me, please. I don't like this, so. Have you eaten? No, not yet. I'm hungry too. You can go and buy the ice cream while I do the cooking. Okay. Hope there are foodstuffs in the kitchen. Yes, I went for shopping yesterday, so whatever you want is in the kitchen. Okay, I'll be done before you come back. Okay, dear. Do you care for some ice cream, sir? Yes, I need some. Okay, let me get some money in my room. Oh, God. Give me the strength to execute this mission. Let her die immediately she tastes it. Sis, can you help me get it? I can't go. Why now? I have a headache. I feel like lying down. No, you can't do this. I can't do what? You need to eat the ice cream. Just take one step at a time before you know it, you are there. I know you're saying it for your own benefits. You're not licking the ice cream today. If you're having a headache, then go and buy drugs to subside the pain. Sis, it seems you don't understand how high this sun is. But I came to your house under this sun. That is the reason why I said you should help me get it since you entered the sun already. You are just an impossible human being. Since you are complaining of headache, you can go to your room and rest. Thanks, sis. Let me go to the kitchen and make us something to eat. Okay. This one you are standing up. Where are you going to? I want to come and help you in the kitchen. Why not go to your room and rest? You complained already a few minutes ago. Don't worry, dear. I can manage. I can't let you struggle in the kitchen alone when I'm here. Don't worry. Go and rest. Cooking is not that hard. I'll be done before you know it. I insist to help you. Let's do it together. Hi, 
my friend. Hi, Rachel. I'm glad you came on time. What is it? You sounded so urgent. Yes, I need your advice. What is it? I told Sylvia that Sarah isn't her sister already. What? What did you tell her? Long story short, I made her believe she is Fred's daughter. And Sarah is just adopted. So, what do you want to do next? I want her out of our lives. Because obviously she will be 26 a few months from now. And then the whole properties of her father left her will be ours. Remember Fred told his lawyer that once Sarah turns 26 on her wedding day, she should be given the three companies, the houses, the four estates, and only the company I'm managing and the house we live in presently should be given to Sylvia. Wow. So you want Sarah out of the picture? Yes. She can't just get everything. She can't keep getting everything, of course. I will tell you what to do. Listen. Thanks guys for coming out, despite being an urgent call. What is the problem? Have you eaten another love portion? That is not funny. If not that you are my main guy, I would have beaten you blue and black. Sorry ladies, it was just a harmless question. As I was saying, I am happy being around the people that loves me. As we all gathered like this, I want us to also gather like this on my wedding day, which is the day after tomorrow. Wow, I knew there would be good news. Congratulations, man. Thank you, boo. Congratulations, sweetheart. But you are wicked, Sha. You kept it away from me till today. I'm sorry, sis. It was a secret between my husband to be and I. It will be a church wedding. No, it's a court wedding. We have to be very fast. But why the rush? You both still have time. No, we don't. The last time we decided to wait, something terrible happened. I won't take such risk again. Have you told Miriam? For what? What is she to me? She is your sister. How many times did I tell you she's not my sister? She lost that title when she betrayed me. Let's not talk about Miriam here. Everything about her is bad luck. Even mentioning her name can bring bad luck to someone. Swears, I am glad she rejected my proposal years ago. So that I play you both to be married before me. How many months do you have to your wedding? Two months to go. You are almost there. Same here. Mine is three months to go. I can't wait to marry the woman of my dreams. The woman of your dreams indeed. Do you even have dreams? So why are you pained? I thought you'd be getting married too. Oh, who said I am pained? If you like, you take my advice. What kind of advice? That I should leave her? Yes, because you don't know nothing about her. And I don't want you to cry had I known at last. Marry someone you are well acquainted with. Between the both of us, who will cry had I known at last? Is it not better to marry a stranger than be with a well-known abusive partner? I feel insulted by your words. You both should stop it, please, before it will turn to something else. Babe, don't take it personal. He didn't mean it. I won't say I didn't mean it. Susan, I meant every word I said to you. You will surely regret your marriage with Freeman. What kind of prayer is that? It's not a prayer. It's the harsh reality. You all know the truth, but you refuse to tell her. How can you be with a man that beats you like an animal? Wait until he kills you. Ah! Larry, that is too much now. Don't talk to her like that. Don't insult me, Larry. Enough, guys. We are not here for you both. Maybe we should fix a date for us to come out here and you both can argue as you like. I'm sorry, Susan. Don't take it the wrong way. But that is just the truth.